First of all, let's talk about how long the video took to create. Because I'm always logging my work hours, I can say that quite accurately. The video took me around 206 hours to create. Yeah, that's quite some time. So let's go through the different parts covering how I've done it, how long it took me and what I learned. The first step that I took was in September with creating the neural network code. Because I had to refresh the mathematics behind neural networks for the fundamentals chapter in my thesis anyway, this step wasn't too hard. It took me around 10 to 15 hours and I first wrote a generic version where I could adjust many parameters. I used it to create a strong version that is very specific and therefore short. Otherwise the video would have probably been around 30 to 45 minutes and not as straightforward. There's no real lesson learned here but a general recommendation. Use a good IDE like PyCharm and use a debugger, often. It really helps in understanding what the code is doing. The second step was writing the script. This one is quite important because I don't just want to talk and record, I want to make sure that what I say and how I say it has the greatest effect for understandability. It also makes sure that the content is better organized. I wrote most of the script in September and the first draft, which is probably 85% similar to the final version, took me around another 10 hours to write. Probably a bit less, so I was fairly quick in the creation process until step 3 happened. In this step I created the animations, so basically the 17 minutes of video content. And it took me around 175 hours. I worked on it from November till mid-January. So why and how the heck did it take so long? Well, you probably know the other YouTube channel 3Blue1Brown with over 3 million subscribers and really nice animations. I figured out that he creates his animations in Python through a library called Menim, which he wrote himself. Good thing about it is that he published it online on GitHub for everyone. It is now maintained by a community and actively improved. But the thing with this library is that it has a flat learning curve. So it took me quite some time to create the first two minutes of the video. And I had to write a hell of a lot of code myself. For example, making the code look exactly like it would when you open it in PyCharm took around 30 hours alone because I programmed it generically. The nice thing about this is that I can now just call the method with a code file and some parameters and I receive a manum text object holding the correctly colored code in the JetBrains mono font that is used by PyCharm. And you can use it too, because you've access to all the code through Patreon. So in the end, I haven't counted the lines of code that I've wrote, but I'm quite sure it's somewhere between 2.5 to 3.5k. And that obviously takes some time. But thanks to the generic code that I created, I think I could do similar animations in around 30 to 50 hours instead of 175 now. The fourth step was actually during the third one. I went to Fiverr and hired someone who can proofread my script to point out grammar issues. I also hired someone to double check the implementation so that there's nothing wrong that I might have overseen. The cost was quite fair. I paid around 40 bucks for both feedbacks. The fifth step was recording the script and aligning the animations with the recording. It took around 5 to 7 hours. The recording itself is fairly easy. I'm using DaVinci Resolve for both the recording and editing. So I recorded part by part, applied some filters that the voice is clearer and the S sounds are not so sharp and then removed any noises like swallowing between the sentences. With that done, I rendered the animation files in 4K and overlaid them so that it matches the sound. If you render the animations yourself, you'd see that the timing does not match. That's because I do the alignment in DaVinci Resolve with freezed frames. So I freeze a frame after the last animation and before the next one and increase its length so that the next animation matches the voice. Doing it like this is way faster than calculating the wait times and adjusting the Python code accordingly. This is the last step and took me around 5 to 8 hours. 
I improved the readme for the neural network code, privately uploaded the video to publish it later, researched a bit about the optimal video title so that the video ranks good, same for the description, and the tool I'm using for this is called TubeBuddy. If you're a content creator yourself, you might already know it. If for whatever reason you decide to try out TubeBuddy, I'd appreciate if you contact me. I've read that they have an affiliate program, so I could create an invite link and earn a few bucks referral fee. And that would be quite nice. <laughs> so last I prepared the Google Ads ad campaign so that the video gets an initial push. While it seems a bit counterproductive to spend both time and money on a video that currently earns me, well, nothing, I think and hope that this channel is self-sustaining in the long run. That's it. I hope this video was interesting to you and thanks again for your support. If you have any questions, feel free to write me here on Patreon or on Discord.